Is Elon Musk gonna end Putin's plans? The war between Russia and Ukraine is extremely out of balance. On one hand, Ukraine is one of the poorest countries in Europe that has only been around for 30 years. It hasn't really had the chance to develop a proper military. On the other hand, Russia is more of a military superpower with enough nukes to flatten Ukraine within a day. So how is Ukraine still holding up? Well, Elon Musk might have something to do with it. We'll be taking a look at some of the ways Elon Musk is completely thwarting Putin's plans in Ukraine. So without any further ado, let's begin. Welcome to Elon Musk Takeover. And before we get started with the video, don't forget to smash the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Elon Musk couldn't have developed his Starlink satellites at a more perfect time. During the Russian invasion of Ukraine, communication systems played a massive role in success. When Russia would occupy a new city, the first thing it would do is turn off all sorts of communication between civilians and opposing soldiers. Why? Well, for starters, it's a lot easier for soldiers to coordinate their plans if they have contact with one another. This contact was normally done through radios, phones, or the internet. However, with all of that being under the thumb of Russia, none of that was possible. There's also another side to this. Drones. Ukraine's elite drone unit was left useless because of the communication disruption. There was no possible ways for the drone operators to remotely control the drones and strike on Russian forces. That was until Elon Musk launched the Starlink in Ukraine. Starlink is a company that was started by Elon Musk in 2019. The company launched satellites into space, covering almost every inch of the Earth, to provide reliable, high-speed internet no matter where you are in the world. Unlike conventional means to get internet, Starlink does not rely on any wires, cables, or on ground infrastructure at all. All it needs is a wireless receiver. So when the war between Russia and Ukraine broke out, Elon Musk decided to help Ukraine by giving the country free Starlink receivers so that their communications couldn't be cut off. Not only does the Ukrainian military now have access to the internet, but they have access to high-speed internet. The average internet speed in Ukraine is just 25 megabits a second, and that speed gets significantly worse when you venture into the rural areas. But Starlink offers at least 100 megabits a second, no matter where you are in Ukraine. It's unlike anything the country has seen before. Ukraine's communications might be even better after the war than it was before the war. Ukraine's elite drone unit was the first to make use of Elon Musk's Starlink satellite. A spokesperson for the unit is reported to have said, if we use a drone with thermal vision at night, the drone must connect through Starlink to the artillery guy and create target acquisition. With Starlink, Ukraine's drone unit is able to attack Russian tanks with anti-tank grenades. Considering the fact that the main advantage Russia has over Ukraine right now is the sheer number of tanks, we can say for sure that Elon Musk might have just saved thousands of Ukrainian lives. This way, Ukrainian drones can work during the day, during a power outage, during communication blockade, and at night when there's no visibility at all. The thermal cameras need high-speed internet to work, and it simply wouldn't be possible without Starlink. On top of that, Starlink connections are shockingly secure. Russian hackers would have normally taken a day or two to hack the network and get it to stop working. But that was only possible because most of the internet infrastructure was on the ground. Hacking something that's literally in space is a near impossible task, even for highly trained Russian hackers. So far, Russian hackers have only been able to get their hands on specific websites, keeping almost the entire Starlink network untouched. If you've seen any videos come out of Ukraine over the past few months, you'd know just how pivotal this technology is. Ukraine is winning the tank battle despite being vastly outnumbered. Russian tanks are left to rot over Ukraine, because the drones are highly advanced and extremely reliable thanks to Starlink. Even though Starlink was the main game changer of the war, the US military plans on using Elon Musk for more than just that. In the future, Elon Musk might turn into the face of the US military industry. 
Starlink is a subsidiary of another company owned by Elon Musk SpaceX. You might have heard of it. It's only the largest private space company in the history of our planet. Having proven itself as a force to be reckoned with in the Russia-Ukraine war, SpaceX is now looking for contracts from the Pentagon. Musk plans on bidding for a future contract for the US military satellites that is set to be awarded in September 2024. These satellites will do more or less what SpaceX is already doing with the help of Starlink. That massively increases Elon Musk's chances of winning the bid. However, despite the similarities, these satellites are going to be something truly next level. The details are a government level secret, so no one can reliably tell you what they're going to be capable of. But you have to remember that Starlink satellites were created for civilian consumers. Despite that, they're proven to be highly capable in wars and combat. Now, imagine if Musk put his full brain in developing a satellite that was meant to be used for military purposes. It would be something so deadly that you would never want to mess with America. The US military's space force might finally turn into a reality, and the leading figure behind the space force would be none other than Elon Musk himself. Some reports indicate that the US military wants to build satellites that can easily detect next-gen Chinese hypersonic missiles. This is considered the most advanced missile tech on the planet. And with the tensions between the US and China growing by the day, the need for these satellites is greater than ever. These missiles can reach any part of the world within one hour. And they even have the possibility of carrying out nuclear warheads. Trust me, you don't want to live in a world where there's no counter to weapons like these. Now, these contracts are going to be extremely lucrative for Elon Musk if he wins them. The military can easily spend tens of billions of dollars per year on such projects, as we've seen with the F-35 program or the Patriot Missile program. In the future, we might forget about Elon Musk as the guy who simply develops cars. He'll probably be better known as the guy who brought the US military into the 21st century. Of course, we won't know for sure until a few years from now, but Musk has truly proven himself to be a genius with this one. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think Elon Musk could develop more war tech in the future? Let us know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.